the latest Windows 10 feature update for the month of October is here and these are the new features. If you open your control panel and uh, go to system security and open system, you get redirected to the settings app and this here is all your system options. So yes, removing the system option from control panel is Microsoft's long and slow move towards completely removing the control panel and moving towards the settings app. For me, control panel has been an integral part of Windows since, I don't know, Windows Vista. I guess use while you still can until they get rid of it completely. But anyway, all your old options are still here. For example, you have your advanced system settings right here and if you click it, you get your system properties and everything is there still. So yeah, nothing's gone. It's just moved to the settings app partially. So this new Chromium Edge is now built in with this new update. I've actually been using Edge for three to four months now and it's it's been working fine for me so far. Honestly, I've been using Edge nearly every day since installation and uh, with this patch the new chromium is just replaces the old one so you won't have to uh, download it and install it separately now microsoft has put some new features in edge as well so let me run you through that alt tab will make your edge tabs show up with windows for example if i alt tab now you can see some uh, windows this is our edge tab control panel that discord obs you know you get the idea there's one more tab there's one more tab one more tab and etc etc so why isn't every single tab showing up when I'm doing the alt tab well that's because by default it only shows uh, five recent tabs and also your windows but if you want to change that you can go to the settings system multitasking and we have our uh, yeah, right here alt tab Pressing all tabs source open windows and five most recent tabs or you can do three most all tabs in edge are just windows only So yeah, you get the idea Let's close that. That's about it uh, Let's move on to the next one So with this new update you also get some more advanced options for your phone app this one uh, you can now launch Android apps using your selected Samsung devices I don't currently ha own one of those phones so I can't properly show these features but you can see the pictures and how they look like so now the start menu icons better match your theme color your wallpaper whatever as you can see we don't have separate colors for our tiles except Chrome I don't know I don't know what's going on with this whatever but you see Spotify usually was just blue now it's, it's matching the color of my background. You can also change your wallpaper by going to personalize and your tile colors are going to change accordingly. Let's say if I do oh, this one. All right. So, yep, as you can see, the colors have changed. All right, let's, uh, let's turn that back to how it was. And again, just like how it was. Anyway, you can also change more things from right from here. You can go to uh, your settings and then personalize and colors. And you can change your color from dark to light. This this is just a light or dark theme. You can also make it custom, but we're not going to go through that. This is the transparency effect. So if you turn that off, you don't get the transparency effect. It's pretty straightforward. So this here is our accent colors. Uh, these colors. So if you if we untick that and then change the colors, our accent color changes. And you can see. You you also get your manual control. We also have some more colors here. You can add uh, even more colors, and uh, you can choose where you want to show these. You have your start taskbar, accent center, or title bars and windows borders. Now if you open this PC, you see the bars are black right now. But if I change that, right. Uh, check this and now the color matches the accent color matches with our background so yeah that's that's how it's done you can just change it back to automatically if you don't want to do anything so when you open a game you used to get the focus assist notification right here uh, saying that it's not going to show any notification while playing and then after the game is over you get a summary of hidden notifications right well with this update that's that's just 
gone by default. I mean, you can still re-enable it if you want by going to settings or just clicking here and then right clicking on focus assist, go to settings and uh, we have the options here. Uh, you know, show me a summary of what I missed while I while focus assist was on. You can turn that back on if you want. This is a good one, the refresh rate. Now it's it's in the settings. So if we go to settings and our system. Now if you go down advanced display settings, see you get your refresh rate right here. You won't have to go to the display adapter properties anymore to change your refresh rates and stuff. So yeah, that's, that's about that. Well, that, that wraps it up in this small video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and hit the, hit the notification bell if you want more. Like if you liked the video, dislike if you didn't. Give us your comments. I'll see you in the next one.